What's going on everyone? Philip here from Blackwell Market. In this video, like I said, I want to show you guys basic support and resistance. We'll be looking at some examples here and I want to show you guys some real live examples on the chart. So make sure to stick through all the way to the end of the video to see what patterns we'll be looking for and how we can use support and resistance, the most basic structure in the market, to our best advantage. Also make sure to smash that like button guys, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in learning, in learning more about Forex and improving your current trading skills. So let's have a look at the whiteboard and see what we have. Okay, so Basically, guys, support and resistance is kind of the bread and butter to any sort of trader. Now, we know as a trader, we always want to be looking to trade from zone A to zone B, all right, from zone A up here to zone B, essentially, because we are looking inside these zones, and obviously, once the market breaks outside these zones, we look for other setups, all right? But we won't always be getting these areas. So what we were looking for is structures inside the middle of the market, trying to see if we can get any sort of movement in this market looking for areas where the market will reject not just not specifically give us any chart patterns but areas where the market might reject and give us trades back into those zones all right so let's jump over to the live charts and show you guys some real life examples all right so now we're going to be looking here at gold guys this is the hourly term time frame so i want to show you guys it might look a bit messy if you look at it but once you chart out your zones you'll be able to see that there are actually and there were potential trade setups right now we don't always see this, so we can't, you know, we, we're not going to hear trying to predict the future, guys. We're going to be looking for zones where this market is going to reject. So what we have here, we have a major consolidation zone. So I'm going to be using these lines and I'll be ad adapting a little bit more as we get to the market. So clearly we can see we've got a nice top over there on gold. We also have this rejection zone. If we have a look right over here, we can see some previous rejections, resistance, resistance over here. So that's a fairly strong zone. And then we also have a strong support area right over here and as the market moves on guys all right so here's our first sort of potential entry we could have had here on gold all right now what we see here is remember there's that zone we're looking for yes the market broke past it so you could have looked for potential sales to the downside we were running into a bit of traffic so keep that in mind but if we have a look at where this market sort of came to an end we can see look back here we have a bit of a support slash resistance zones so once we had that break the market pushed back down but the thing I want to look at is the re-entry of this area, okay? So this might look a little bit confusing, but the more you do it, guys, the more you look at the charts, the easier it does get. So if you guys remember this little zone we had right over here, okay, that support sort of area, we can also see we had some wick touches and candles opens and closes. So really, we had this major zone to play in, okay? Now, if we have a look at what how the market reacted around the area, we saw it come back into the area. We had a bit of rejection right over here, but we actually had the market come back down, move into the area. Let's zoom this in a little bit more so we can see it a bit better. Okay, we can see the market has pushed onto that zone, came back again and created a engulfing candle close above these previous pushes to that zone so right there guys on that support zone as the market came back to the area there's no particular pattern no head and shoulders no double bottom no channel no nothing guys it's just purely based off the support and resistance and the candlestick confirmation close we have a beautiful entry right over here we can see targets we have that resistance we spoke about previously before okay we can see there's our entry right over there and there's our bottom our first resistance coming up and our top resistance so we had a beautiful clean path for the market to move up to the area now we had a breakout so we might have taken a little l over here but once the market came back down to that zone let's zoom it in again once we can see the market coming back down into that zone closed with a beautiful engulfing candle right over here we can see again we have entries and now we're going to be looking for our target zones using purely support and resistance areas so looking here to the left uh, we have a first obviously that first initial support that we do have coming up we can see the market played around on that a little bit but eventually continue to drop back down we also had the market playing on these previous support and resistance areas so we could have had potential re-entries we see these candle confirmations and candle rejections right over here using these wicks as well we had a beautiful potential structure re-entry but remember we're taking this trade to the downside and back down to the bottom of the zone. Guys, so support and resistance are very, very easy to use. Now guys, thanks so much for watching. If there's any charts you want us to analyze for you, we do those as well. Comment down below, we'll be happy to do those. Once you've subscribed to the channel, guys, comment down below letting us know you subscribed and we'll respond to those comments as well. From us here at Blackwell Markets, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned, trade safe.